The information provided in this video is intended for your general knowledge and is not a substitute for professional medical advice or treatment by your diabetes care provider or diabetes education by a diabetes care and education specialist. Eating well is important no matter what stage of life you are in. Having a healthy eating plan gives your body the energy it needs while achieving the best health for you. A meal plan is a guide for healthy eating. When you have diabetes, there is no one-size-fits-all eating plan. Meal plans or healthy eating patterns should be based on what you need, the right amount of calories, and should help you achieve and maintain your target blood glucose levels. What is a calorie? A calorie is the amount of energy that a food or drink provides to your body. Your body needs energy from calories for you to think, work, and be active. The calories you eat are either used for physical energy or are stored within the body as fat. Eating the right amount of calories allows your body to maintain a healthy weight. Where do we get our calories? Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are the types of nutrients that contain calories and are the main energy sources for your body. Carbohydrates, or carbs, provide energy as our body's number one fuel source. When a person eats carbohydrates, it is digested and turned into glucose, or sugar, to be used for energy. A person with diabetes does not need to cut carbohydrates out of their diet. Instead, they may need to watch or count how many carbohydrates they eat. Some foods have more carbohydrates than others. Foods that contain carbohydrates include breads, oatmeal, and tortillas, crackers, pretzels, and chips, pasta, rice, and beans, fruits, milks and yogurts, starchy vegetables like peas, corn, potatoes, and lima beans, non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, lettuce, carrots, squash, and green beans, sweets, candy, soda, and juice. Protein and fat are also nutrients that provide energy for our bodies. While these items do not affect blood glucose levels as much as carbohydrates do, it does not mean you should eat an unlimited amount of these items. For our best health, it is important to have an appropriate portion size of protein and fat. Keep in mind that foods that have protein and fat can also contain carbohydrates. Foods that contain protein are beef, chicken, turkey and pork, fish and seafood, eggs, nuts, seeds, beans and soy, milk, yogurt and cheese. Foods that contain healthy fats are olive or vegetable oils, nuts and seeds, fish and avocados. When planning healthy eating habits, it is important to have the right balance of carbohydrates, protein, and fat. This results in better nutrition, diabetes care, and overall health. A registered dietitian, RD, or registered dietitian nutritionist, RDN, is the leading expert in food and nutrition. Meeting with a dietitian can help you create a meal plan that gives you the right amount of calories while balancing carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Your provider may ask you to monitor your carbohydrate intake. This is an essential part of diabetes care for many people with diabetes. This is because foods with carbohydrates affect blood glucose, also called blood sugar levels, the most. Many foods and drinks have a nutrition facts label. Here, you can find two items that explain the amount of carbohydrate in the food. One, the serving size, and two, the amount of carbohydrate in one serving size of the food. Your choices of what to eat or drink are important to achieve a healthy eating pattern. Eating a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, protein foods, and dairy all add up to a healthy eating plan. Choosing foods full of nutrients can boost your health today and lead to a healthy future. Diabetes education is considered an important part of your diabetes care. Medical treatment without it is considered inadequate. To learn more about diabetes education, healthy eating, and to meet with a registered dietitian that specializes in diabetes, contact Barnstable Brown Diabetes Education Services at 859-323-7391 or Diabetes Education Services at uky.edu.